Hi there. Welcome to Dave's MySQL Basics. I'm Dave Stokes. This is a series we're producing, or I'm producing, to help you learn how to use MySQL from scratch. Now, to use the MySQL database, you need a client program. Uh, the client program we're using, as you can see here on the screen, is the new MySQL shell. Under Windows, I can go down to my lower left-hand corner, find the MySQL group, and run MySQL SH. On a Linux or similar operating system at the command line prompt, I can type in MySQL SH. And once you do that, you're going to see this. Uh, what this is telling us is that we're running MySQL shell, uh, version 8022, some trademark information. And then we have uh, a handy information, information line. Uh, for help, you can type in backslash help or backslash question mark. If you want to quit, you can type in backslash quit or just Q. And if you notice here that it says JS, this is JavaScript mode. The new shell actually has three modes. And to change those, uh, we simply uh, type in what mode we want. And you notice it's gone from yellow and JS to blue and PY. Uh, also, we can go into SQL mode. Now, if you have libraries in Python or JavaScript, you can use those to work with your data. But right now, we're going to connect, which is backslash C, the account name, the system name. Now, this can be an IP address. It can be a uh, fully qualified name for the, the server. Uh, the server can be on your local machine. It could be down the hallway. It could be up in the cloud. And with a forward slash, I'm going to name the schema that I want to use. Now, MySQL tends to use the term schema and database interchangeably, and for our purposes in this series, uh, we'll do that. Uh, but that's a location where we're going to store data. So once we log in, it tells us it's creating a session. Uh, who we logged in as? Localhost, the schema. That's going to sketch, fetch other schema names for auto-completion. Uh, it gets table and column names from the schema that we've logged into for auto-completion. It tells us that our connection is number 13, and we're using the new X protocol versus the classic protocol. It tells us the server is also running MySQL 8022, and it's running the community edition of the server. And it reminds us that our default schema is set to world. Now, this prompt here tells us that we're running MySQL, the machine we're talking to, the actual internet port that we're, we're using, that we're using secure socket layers, which encrypts your traffic between the server and the client, uh, the scheme we're using, and it tells us they're in SQL mode. Now, you notice that it didn't ask for my password. Well, I've logged into this account before this machine. It's automatically saved my password and encrypted it, so I can use it again. Uh, it is uh, very safe, and you do not have to store your password if you do not want to. So, if we type show tables, S-H-O-W, T-A-B-L-E-S, Notice I'm typing in uppercase. It does not have to be an uppercase. Uh, all, some operating systems are case sensitive. Uh, most of them are case sensitive. Uh, traditionally, you'll see SQL commands, or structured query language commands, put into uppercase. So if I type in show tables, it tells us that we have three tables in our schema. And by the way, uh, you can end commands with a semicolon, a lowercase g, which is kind of an alias for that. But if you use an uppercase G, instead of being in a table format, it's more of a horizontal format. Now, if we want to use help, we type in backslash H or backslash help. And unfortunately, this will scroll off because a lot of information. Now, if we have a particular item that we want to know more information about, we can type in backslash H. And uh, looks like we want to know about the status command. It will go out there and give us information on that particular command. So now you see how the client command works and how to input information on that. Uh, please try the other sections of this series and we'll get into more details.